All right, so I haven't done a lot of YouTube lately. I've been too busy. I'm working two different government jobs and lack of sleep. Anyway, I'm here in this parking garage waiting to go my uh, PM job is what I will call it. So I do want to talk about how do I eat on the run and not worry about refrigeration but still get some uh, animal protein. And uh, this is how I do it sometimes. It's uh, corned beef in a can. Now this got a little water damage, but as you can see, it's still all right. Um, it's got some rust on it. Um, more or less, so it's it's uh, resi resilient to uh, environmental uh, degradation. Uh, it's got some good paint on it. It's got some um, almost uh, like a chrome zinc uh, type coating on the metal so it doesn't rust willingly it will uh, on the exposed sections and whatnot but anyway there's a key on there and you take the key and you put it on that tab there and you open it up so you can open it up without any additional tools you can eat it by hand I don't recommend that I recommend getting a stick or a fork or a, a spoon or something like that and um, when it's chilled it it's gelatinous the fat and the uh, the protein and whatnot, it, it, it's a kind of a brick. But as it gets hotter, if you're able to find a microwave or otherwise, you could keep it under your um, clothing and it will, by your body heat, it'll warm up and the fats and whatnot will turn into oils and you can, you know, eat it uh, with less... Um, What's the word when you're disgusted with things? The revulsion. So yeah, a lot of people like to fry it up with uh, eggs. Corned beef and eggs is a thing. That was my intention. Unfortunately, raccoon killed my hens. Um, they're basically ninjas. They can get in just about anywhere and kill everything. So it, it was defeated by the raccoon. So I have a bunch of corned beef. And I'm on the run. I got limited time to eat. Now this stuff is meant for people that spend a lot of calories, you know, basically physical activity. Um, if you're sedentary, it's going to add some um, cushion in areas you don't want to be cushioned and probably plug up your, your arteries and a bunch of other issues. So make sure you're very physical when you eat on this. Now, the uh, World War II... I believe the British, they were big on this stuff. This oxen palm, it comes from, uh, I believe it's is it New Zealand. There's another one called palm. I believe that comes from Australia. I get them mixed up. But they come in different kind of types of cans. This, this is kind of like a trapezoid type looking can. There's a whole thing behind why the cans are shaped like this. It's interesting. It's, it has to do with uh, logistics and whatnot. But um, the other little tip I want to give you is if you got to get into a uh, piece of canned food or whatnot and you don't have any way to open it uh, you don't have to smash it get yourself some concrete and start rubbing the end against the concrete it'll sand off the metal and uh, get it down it'll actually sand it open uh, wear and tear and then you can open the lid and whatnot and not lose the contents a lot of people they start using rocks and and, and stepping on it, and you get injured real quick with the sharp edges. So all you gotta do is keep rubbing it on some some concrete or some asphalt or some, or whatnot. Um, it's pretty easy to find an industrial uh, industrial um, locations and whatnot. So anyway, that's it. Just a quick little tip. I gotta get to work here. And um, this is Military Industrial Museum. Just trying to multitask and multi. Um, utilitize my time time is so precious you don't precious and value is based on scarcity and time when you when you don't have a lot it becomes so valuable so i don't know what time it is i'm not able to see the time when this thing is functioning as a uh, recording unit um but yeah i just want to put this oh i'll if i get time i'll get uh i'll put a link in the description where you get some of this from, I believe Amazon's probably a pretty reliable source. 
and you can get yourself some of this and it's, it's quick easy you know if you don't have someone making you meals or you don't buy meals and you're and you and you don't want something to go bad on you with that refrigeration i do recommend that it, you can pretty much fit in a par cargo pocket or a little backpack or whatnot and you'll be all right so anyway other than that yeah leave some comments let me know what you want to know about what i know and i can tell you what i know within reason i do have limits and like that so other than that um stay well it's uh spring 2023 hopefully we're gonna all do a lot better than we have been doing and i'm glad the the winter is regressing it takes a lot of money and a lot of suffering to get through cold weather i'll tell you and so anyway all right take care we'll see you in the next one